In this video, I'm going to go over two different types of acid-base reactions. In general, an acid-base reaction is one where we react one molecule that we call an acid with a second molecule that we call a base. So the first thing that we should do in this video is just go over the definition of an acid and a base. What does it mean to be an acid and what does it mean to be a base? There are quite a few different ways that we can classify acids and bases. In general chemistry, we use the Bronsted-Lowry method for classifying our acids and bases. A Bronsted-Lowry acid is defined as a molecule that donates a hydrogen ion H+. And the Bronsted-Lowry base is that molecule's, the acid molecule's counterpart or partner in crime. So the Bronsted-Lowry base is the molecule that receives or um, takes or accepts the donated H plus from the acid. So the acid is just handing that H plus over to the base. Let's add that to the acid definition. Not just that it donates an H plus, but specifically that it donates an H plus to a base. So I bet you're wondering what this donating H plus, accepting H plus looks like. Uh, we've got two examples here. I'm gonna go over and give you a chance to see how this donating, accepting H plus works. Both of these are acid-base reactions. And what we're going to do is look at our reactants and we're gonna classify our reactants as being either an acid or a base. So we're going to decide of these two reactants, which one is the acid and which one is the base. Now before we do this, I do want to point out to you, it's not always obvious, that every one of these acid-base reactions is always an acid reacting with a base. We are never going to see a situation where we have an acid reacting with an acid or where we have a base reacting with a base. Both of those situations are impossible. In order for something to be classified as an acid, it has to be in the presence of a base. And in order for something to be classified as a base, it has to be in the presence of an acid, just because of the way that this relationship works, where one has to be able to donate and the other has to be able to receive. So let's jump in with this. And again, what we're gonna be doing is looking at our two reactants and we're gonna be deciding of these two, which one is the acid and which one is the base. In order for us to classify the acid or the base, we have to figure out if a molecule is donating or accepting a hydrogen ion, H+. So what we want to do is take our reactant molecules, we have our HCl molecule, and we wanna follow this HCl molecule through to the other side of the equation, to the product side of the equation, and figure out what does HCl turn into? And we're gonna do the same thing with H2O as well. We're gonna follow our H2O molecule to the other side of the equation and figure out what it turns into. Now over here, when we're doing this process, really what I want you to do is kind of trust your chemical intuition. Um, when you're looking at the H2O molecule, I feel like that's kind of an easier one to start with. Look over here on the product side, which of these two product molecules most closely resembles the formula for H2O? We're looking for something that matches up, that's really, really similar. And so clearly H2O and H3O+, their molecular formulas are really, really similar. They're only different by one hydrogen atom. And then um, since we've already matched our H2O up with H3O+, that means that we're matching HCl with Cl-, and that also makes sense because the formula for HCl and Cl-, they're also very similar. So again, we're just matching these molecules up with the product that most closely resembles them in terms of their formula. Once we get these products matched up to the reactant, we're gonna take a look at exactly what happens in that transformation. So let's start by focusing on HCl. And what we're asking ourselves is, how does HCl actually turn into Cl minus? What's going on in that process? Is it donating an H plus or is it accepting an H plus? So if we look at HCl turning into Cl minus, we see that that happens when it loses a hydrogen atom, which is a donation. It also loses a positive charge because it goes from having no charge to a minus one charge. So our HCl is defined as the acid in this reaction because it donated an H plus to become Cl minus. And since we've decided that HCl is the acid, that means that water must be the base because remember one has to be the acid and one has to be the base, but let's double check. How does water go about turning into H3O plus? Well, we can see that it adds a hydrogen. It goes from two hydrogens to three, so it's accepting. 
And it also has a, a positive charge. So it goes from neutral to a positive charge. So we've confirmed that water is the base and this is because it has accepted the H plus to become H3O plus. So it's not so bad. Let's practice it with our second equation down here. So again, we want to start by matching our reactants up with a product. And with NH3, we want to move over to the product side and try to match NH3 up with the product that most closely resembles the formula of NH3. And we're going to do the same thing with H2O. We want to follow it across and match it up with something that most closely resembles uh, H2O. And now we want to ask ourselves, how does NH3 get to NH4 plus, what has happened in terms of H plus ions? We can see that as we go from NH3 to NH4, we are adding or accepting an H plus, accepting an H plus, which makes NH3 the base. Um, it accepts or adds the H plus ion. And the same thing for water, we're gonna do the same thing. So we watch what happens to water through this equation. We can see that it goes from two hydrogen down to only one hydrogen, which means it has donated the H plus, which makes this an acid. So this is not so bad. And in the next video, we are gonna practice this concept a little bit more. But before we get to that, remember I told you I was gonna cover two different types of acid-base reactions. This is one type of acid-base reaction, and this we just call an acid-base reaction. It doesn't have a special name. But we do have a second type of acid-base reaction that gets its own name, and this type of reaction is called acid-base neutralization. So this is just a very specific type of an acid-base reaction. In an acid-base neutralization reaction, we are going to be reacting an acid with a base. And in this situation, the product of this reaction is always water every single time, and then some sort of ionic compound. And the ionic compound varies based on the type of acid and base we're working with, but the water is always a product of this particular type of reaction. So here's a couple of examples of acid-base neutralization reactions, HBr plus NaOH, and they react together to make H2O and NaBr. And you would be able to identify this very quickly as an acid-base neutralization reaction because first of all you would see that water as a product and that would give you a hint that maybe this is neutralization and then you would confirm it because you see the ionic compound NaBr as your second product. So you know that then that this must be acid-base neutralization. Here's another example HNO3 plus KOH. They react together to make H2O and KNO3. And again, if you were asked to classify what type of reaction is this, you would see the H2O product, and that would make you wonder, hmm, maybe this is neutralization, and then you would look at the other product and say, yes, this is an ionic compound. Uh, water plus an ionic compound means that I'm always looking at a neutralization reaction. Even if you aren't sure if the reactants are acids or bases, it's not really necessary as long as you know what to look for in terms of the products.